Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial we will add screen shake effects to accent single moments of a scene. This is opposed to a constant shaking which I cover in a different tutorial. We will cover three types of screen shake, so let's get right to it. The first one is a jitter effect caused by instant back and forth up and down panning. Let's add our clip to the timeline. And first up we need to split the audio. So right click it and press split audio. This is very important as we will duplicate video clips but audio should stay on one track. Now we also ungroup this and we want to split the first video scene because we want to zoom into it. So let's add the pan and zoom or position and zoom effect and in properties which you can enable via view properties we will zoom to 110% and center the video using the align buttons. GPU effect users might have to do this manually. Now let's go to the point in time where we want the screen shake to happen. It's easy to find in my project because the music already has an extra beat at that moment. Now we duplicate the video clip by copying and pasting and dragging it on top. Now we split three frames with a distance of one frame each and delete the rest. For splitting we can use the Shift-R key combination. And we can use the Delete key on the keyboard to delete the stuff we don't need. On these one frame clips the position and zoom effect might be screwed up, so make sure to press the Go to Previous Keyframe button and then set the size again if, it, if it's not 110 anymore. And now center it horizontally, but don't center it vertically, instead align to top. And we do the same with the second one. But we align to bottom. And with the third one. And we align to top again. You can also play with the actual positions. And that is it. This jitter effect gives the impression of force, an impact, explosion or earthquake. The second effect is a transparent mirrored overlay that conveys agility, power and speed. We don't use the zoom filter this time, but again we duplicate the video clip and single out three frames. We then apply the mirror effect and we use the flip parameter for the mirroring direction. We also add a transition by clicking at the bottom left corner for example and we set it to a composite transition and we set opacity to 50%. And now we can use Ctrl C and Ctrl V on the keyboard to paste the transition to the other frames. And the same with the effect, copy and then paste effects. And suddenly the movement seems fantastical and superhuman for a moment in this confusing split second. This tutorial by the way is inspired by Olu Femi's awesome Jitter Shake and Earthquake Premiere Pro tutorial. You can find a link in the description. For our final effect let us again isolate three frames. The effect we apply this time is the box blur. We set blur factor to 1 and vertical multiplicator to 15, but you can play with that number. Now we just copy the effect to the other frames. And now it feels like the ground was trembling so hard that the camera was shaking with it. These tricks are geniusly simple, but with the right sound can add a lot of emotion to your clips. I hope you make good use of them and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also check out my general screen shake tutorial and my other Cadian Live tutorials. Hope to see you there, have fun editing, ciao!